بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و بشرا علی صدری و سر علی امری بحول الاغضة من لسان افقا و قولی اسلام علیکم لٹل کیڈز دس اس شہروز عبداللہ اور ناو ٹوڈی وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس لیکشر نمبر فور کلاس نائنت فیزیکس وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس فیزیکس لیکشر نمبر فور کلاس نائنت اوکی Uh, if you remember in the lecture number three, in the previous lecture, we have discussed with uh, contributions of Muslim scientists in the field of science and technology, in the field of physical sciences, we have discussed their contributions, right? Now, in uh, lecture number four, we are going to discuss uh, what are physical quantities. We are going to discuss what is physical quantities. Do remember one thing, physical quantities are all those quantities which are measurable and observable all those quantities which are measurable and observable are called physical quantities okay those we can measure also and can observe also okay known as physical quantities measurement different units may up kar sakte ho like and uh, uh, observations by your five senses we can do right so all those physical quantities which are measurable and observable known as physical quantities now there are two types of physical quantities the first is base physical quantity the second is derived physical quantities what are base physical quantities you know base physical quantities are those quantities which are simple and prominent prominent fixed all those quantities which are simple and prominent they are known as base physical quantities okay we have basic seven base physical quantities length mass time current temperature luminous intensity and amount of substance each we have represented it with the symbols also and we have uh, uh, shown it over here like length mass time current temperature luminous intensity amount of substance the units are the following length is measured in the units of meters mass is measured in the unit of kilograms and time is measured in the unit of seconds electric current is measured uh, in the unit of amperes temperature is measured in the unit of kelvin uh, then we have luminous intensity in candela then amount of substance in mole then their symbols are also discussed over here now we are going to discuss what are derived physical quantities as from the name it is very clear that derived those physical quantities which are driven from somewhere they will be termed as derived physical quantities so how can we explain this derived physical quantities are those physical quantities which are driven from base physical quantities which are driven from base physical quantities they are called as derived physical quantities okay uh, now derived physical quantities can be also discussed as those physical quantities which can be defined which can be explained in terms of base physical quantities so we we, we, we call it derived physical quantities now derived physical quantities are also those physical quantities which are defined which uh, to define which we need base physical quantities like how let's let me discuss some of the examples like area is derived physical quantity why area is derived physical quantity because area is the twice multiplication of length like if we multiply area is equal to a length into width so if you multiply length into twice like two times so it gives you area you know length and width are basically same thing for our convenience conventionally we have considered this is length and this is width somebody can come and it can say that no this is length and this is width okay so length and width both are actually lengths okay so which is base physical quantity so to define area length is needed if there is no length we how can we define area so simply to define area length is needed that is why we say area is derived physical quantity why because to define area length is needed mean area definition is dependent upon some of the base physical quantities for example length similarly we have pressure we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area and area again length into it so uh, we say that pressure is also a derived physical quantity why because to define pressure length uh, uh, to define pressure area is needed and in terms area is also dependent upon length and width that's why we say pressure is a derived physical quantity similarly density it is represented by rho r h o rho this symbol mass per unit volume why density is derived physical quantity because to define density mass is used m is used over there so that is why we say that density is a 
derived physical quantities. There are there are a lot of the examples already discussed in the book. Okay, acceleration, velocity, power, efficiency, torque, momentum. All these are what? These are derived physical quantities. So this is all about today's lecture number four. Let me let me summarize today's work. We have discussed today. Uh, uh, we have discussed physical quantities. We have discussed the types of physical quantities with your examples. Okay, in physical quantities, we said that those physical uh, those quantities which are measurable and observable are known as what uh, physical quantities there there were two types of physical quantities uh, first base physical quantity then derived physical quantity so base were those physical quantities which are simple and prominent and there were some seven examples were discussed over there in derived we say that those physical quantities which can be discussed which can be explained in terms of base physical quantities they were called as what derived physical quantities and a lot of uh, examples were discussed over there so this was all about today's lecture hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching allah hafiz fi amanallah